Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Saturday, and today I am going to film something because I've been busy the entire week for the past week due to deadlines and stuff. Okay, something. Due to the deadline and some stuff in school. So, today I'll be showing you something that I've been wanting to tell you. I've been, I've been wanting to share with you guys, especially that I got it a week ago and it was like a surprise. So, um, I will finally reveal it today. Reveal. Reveal it today. And yes, I'm very excited. Um, a little background. Um, I think last week I was a little busy with schoolworks and deadlines and then suddenly this thing arrived and voila I had to open it and things were great ever since that day so yes I wouldn't make uh, make it too long I will show you guys what this thing is and I really think that you would like it too because I love it and it's very unexpected so let's get it. Okay, it's right here in front of me and I still can't see it because I'm not letting you see it yet. But here it is. You guys, this is a Monstera Deliciosa and it's very huge. If you can see, that leaf right there is bigger than my head. That leaf right there is still bigger than my, than my, than my head. And I have a new leaf right here, unfurling. I think it'll take like a couple of days before it, um, it opens up. But, let me tell you a story. So Monstera Deliciosa here in my country or here in the Philippines is quite rare. Um, you don't really usually see this big monster here, especially here in Cebu. Um, it's not endemic here in the Philippines, that's the reason why it's kind of rare. I think that's the word, endemic. <laughs> Anyways, yes, it's not really common. And um, if you find one here in the Philippines, it would be very expensive because it's shipped from, the, uh, from Thailand or like... Um, from the states, no, not really from the states, but I think usually from Thailand, Vietnam, uh, from any, from those countries that this guys are like considered as weed. Um, I've seen an article that Monstera in some countries are just considered as weed, and they just like, throw it away and like cut it out. And um, I don't really, I don't have a problem with it. I don't have a problem with the Monstera being considered as a weed because sometimes plants are really considered as weed in specific countries. Um, here in the Philippines, some are considered um, natural or like common, but to other people out there, it's not very really common. Anyways, so this Monstera is a philodendron. It's a philo 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 philo. It's a philodendron and uh, it's a climbing monstera. Um, take note that there is still one type of plant that looks like a monstera, but it is not a monstera, okay? Um, I just recently cut a leaf from this plant because um, it kind of died or like it yellowed up after shipping. Guys, you guys, it's it's really unbelievable. I got this kind of monstera. It's really look at my hand and look at the size of my head. It's crazy, right? When I started my plant hobby, I actually wanted to have an, a monstera and I really wanted to look for one. But then sadly, here in the Philippines, it's not really common. It's rare and rare. It's kind of rare, and uh, it's really. It's like a gem. It's like a gem. So this package arrived last week, and um, it was really a very, very big surprise for me. Um, 
you know, having a monstera if you're a plant collector and like if if like having your dream plant or crush plant, it's the best feeling in the world because you wouldn't expect that this one would happen. Oh, this one would arrive in your. I didn't expect that this one would would arrive or I would get to have this one before I even have my own job because this guy right here is I think it's really expensive and thank you I, I still can't believe that I actually got a Monstera Deliciosa this this size though this size because here in the Philippines if you buy or like like or let's say here in Cebu here in Cebu if you buy a Monstera I think that the Monstera that they sell is like half of the size of my, my big plant big leaf and then um, the fenestrations aren't visible yet so this this guy right here has fenestrations as you can see this guy so if you guys are asking what fenestrations are fenestrations are this little hole, holes holes that you can see here in the monstera the, those those holes that hole this one this hole this one anyways yeah so um two of the leaves have has fenestrations this leaf is the latest leaf um, among all the five leaves and if you can see there's four leaves right now because because one leaf right here I cut it out because look look what happened it's yellow it's still pretty though but um, I'm just saving it for display purposes I don't want to throw it away while it still can live even though it's kind of yellow so so far I have two monsteras with me it's the monstera deliciosa and the monstera adensoniae so this monstera adensoniae too is one of my faves because it's a monstera um, you can't get enough of monstera though those these these stuff it's crazy I got this Monstera at Insania for like 150, 180, I kind of forgot. And it had 5 leaps. Now it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 leaps. In a span of like 2 months, 3 months. So, yes, um, Monstera, this is one of my recommended plants. Although this one is also rare here in. The Philippines getting not rare anymore it's like getting there getting in that thing what I'm wishing is that this Monstera Deliciosa would not get would like be would not be rare anymore here in the Philippines since this is one of the pretty plants I know this one is an invasive plant but I don't think it would be invasive in like five years if like people would get like planted in their garden or stuff I don't think it would get really that invasive unless if you like plant it in the jungle or like plant it in the backyard with trees in it. So you guys, I hope you like this video. I think I'm gonna wrap up with, I'm gonna wrap up this video already. Um, if you wanna see more videos, please, please, please help me. Um, comment down below if you want to watch this kind of video. And if you wanna watch, if you wanna watch more updates with this monstera, please, please tell me. Of course, I'm think I'm gonna do more videos of this video about the monstera deliciosa. And yes, um, this coming October or November, um, watch out for a plant haul. Uh, I'm gonna do a plant haul video sooner in November or October. We don't know. I just have a schedule with me, and I think that I hope that it would push through so yes um, don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel and uh, if you want to like get notified click the notification bell <laughs> click the notification bell so that you would get notified when I post a video about my plans so yes uh, that's it for today happy Saturday happy Sunday or whatever you are so what, whenever you are watching this one um, thank you for supporting me in my channel that's it see you in my next video
Oh my god.